Hello and welcome to programming. In this video I'll show you how to make a runnable jar which will contain images using Eclipse. In this example I'll use Pac-Man project which will depend on another project called Game Engine and in a Pac-Man project it will contain two resources folders which are images and mazes when we run this, uh, the game works perfectly fine. But if you like to export it for the user, here's what we can do. Right click on the project, then go to export. Now, go to Java, click on runnable Java file, next. Um, select your launch configuration select your destination which will essentially be your file name so I'll put it in desktop and name it pacman.jar now I'll leave the other options default and click finish forget about the warning next we'll try to run it as you can see we cannot run it now let's see the content of the jar file archive manager as you can see there are no resource folders one solution is to give your user the resources for this. The other option is to pack the whole thing in one jar file. That's what we trying to do. Now so let's delete that. Go back to Eclipse. Here are the steps that we need in order to pack the resources folder into your project. First, create your resource folder. Right click on your project, new, and then folder. Let's call it res resource. Next, move your all your resources into the new folder. After that, right click on the resource folder, go to build path, and then use it as a source folder. So we clip will pack every resources in that folder for you but we're not done yet the next thing we need to do is we need to change the way we load it in the resources it's easier if we have a resource loader class so let's create it on in here it's a class and we can call it resource loader First, we'll make this class final and add in one method which will return input stream called method loader. Control 1 to import a input stream from java.io package. Next, make a variable called input which will be input stream and we try to load in the resource using get resources stream and give it the resource path name now a good way to specify the path would be to have a forward slash in front of the path. We're gonna make sure that we get the resource so we'll check if we cannot find the input. We just grab the input from
that instead so this should give us the correct input stream from the path <laughs> now we're done with resource loader save it next we'll make changes to the way we're loading in the resources in the old code the first one is the maces now that should change to resource loader dot load that's one the other one is in spy sheet so let's go to that now that should be resource loader not load resource loader dot resource loader dot load save all of these and we should be fine so let's try it again right click on this to create a jar file click on export it and then select java and select the runnable jar file next and finish forget that go to desktop and now if we open it with archive manager we should see that uh, the resource images are in included in, in the jar file so when the user double click on that it should run spy anyway that's it for video number 43 on how to making a runnable jar using a clip thank you for watching goodbye